say, oh, I'm 91. Yes, it's just a number in, in your life. What does it matter? Hey, I don't care. Do you? <laughs> people are often seen as like enemies and you can tell that like when you're walking down the street the teenagers are always like oh older people and the older people are like the young rebellious kids and, like I don't know it's just an assumption that for some reason was placed upon us. It's important for young people to hang out with older people because right now we're basically in two separate communities we don't know what they do they don't know what how we are we just have certain perceptions because it's the media and stereotypes. But through this program, like we can really interact with each other and it's important because we don't know each other. I don't know what, what they thought, but they, they probably thought that we're probably an old bunch of old funny daddies, but we're not, you know. Just because we're older, you feel the same. You just feel the same. We spent two weekends with 10 young people and 10 older residents to create intergenerational connections and to produce media that celebrates the lives of who these older people are and leaves audiences questioning the stereotypes that they have of older people and thinking about some of the older people that they have in their life. First we learned how to film, then we learned how to interview, but after the time we learned how to talk to them and we became their friends as well. I remember things that I'd forgotten about and, and just put the back of my mind, the war years. But I've never wanted to talk about it. But they made it easy for me to express myself of what happened. And I was surprised at the things I did in my life. You know, once I got talking to them. The most exciting part of the project for me are the moments when the youth and the older participants are surprised by what they find in each other. My name is Anne and I was surprised at how easy it was to talk to these two. We got together, we couldn't stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> Their like characters are really big from all the years of experience they've had. They're funnier because, I don't know, they've had more experience of being funny. You look sweet, talk about the tree. I don't remember the words. <laughs> the youth get so much out of it around a connection to history and a connection to a larger expansion of life. And the, the older residents walk away with a kick in their step and feeling a bit younger and feeling more connected to a younger generation, which is so important. And, and I felt younger because Dylan said to me when I was 84, he said, I thought you were only 70 something. <laughs> I said, oh, thank you. <laughs> They grew up in a totally different time. It's just, it's cool to see what it was like when we weren't here. Makes me feel good. Uh, I'm glad uh, young people can be interested in uh, an old man like me. No matter how old you are, people have the same needs. They need connection. They need someone to listen to them. They want to feel important. They want to feel like someone cares. This project does that. It creates those intergenerational connections and builds our community and makes our community stronger. When we know who we are and who's around us, then we know how to care for each other better. Well, I live really close to here, so I think I'm gonna come and visit Doreen and Bernard. I learned that the elderly that we have in our own cities they're not much different than us. It's funny how you feel the same because you always think, oh, look at that poor old soul. But that poor old soul is feeling quite happy. <laughs> you never know. 